We are clearly in the rainforest. Great walk. So we're in Miami now, and then we're leaving in a few hours to go to Ecuador, so going international. I'm very excited for the nature, but I'm also probably equally or more excited for just the cultural experience of it. And, and so, yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. It's one of my favorite things about traveling internationally, I'd say. Right now I'm so tired because I just had an overnight flight. I don't do well with no sleep, all right? <laughs> I have a very good sleep schedule, so an overnight flight where I don't sleep, I'm just out of it. Ecuador. I just woke up to the most beautiful green view and you can probably hear there's a river right there. The birds, it's already so incredible. We're in Mindo, Ecuador and our first stop of the journey. So it's all about the rainforest here. Going from Utah where it is incredibly dry and no humidity to the rainforest is quite the change for us. <laughs> The humidity is definitely intense, but I am so excited for the cloud forests and the animals and the plants and the sounds that are here in the rainforest. We're going to a waterfall hike in the rainforest. I think we're gonna see maybe like seven or eight waterfalls today. And we're gonna get to take a tram car over the rainforest, which Nick does not like that kind of stuff. And so <laughs> you just can't look down, but oh, I'm so excited. We're gonna hop on a taxi right now. And then that's, that's what we're doing today. Really scary in front of me. 
in the rainforest <laughs> and we're hiking to one of the waterfalls. There's a bit of confusion when we got off the little tram car because from all the research that I've done, there were two routes, but then the sign said that there were three and Nick and I thought one thing and then we were really confusing the guy <laughs> who was trying to help us. So I think, I think we have it figured out, <laughs> but yeah, just a little bit of confusion there at the beginning. We're not lost. In the rainforest. We ain't lost. Just took a little water break and now we're gonna keep hiking. <laughs> just getting used to feeling sticky and sweaty all the time because again it's just such a drastic difference from where we live in Utah but I love it. <laughs> Nick was saying that uh, he notices a lot of Ikea plants here and I was like yeah no wonder they die in our little condo in the desert. <laughs> Look at these leaves I cannot get over the size of the leaves here like my hand leaf it's just craziness. That is a, a quite the paddle to just take in the sun. So Purifiers, so viruses and bacteria, they are the best for travel, like the best decision I made. But I'm gonna go get some more water. You fill this up, and then this, kind of open it a little bit.
Hold on. We're walking back to town in the rain. It's actually raining a lot less now, but Nick and I are saying this is the most rain I think I've ever seen. <laughs> We are done for the day, back in the hostel. I am exhausted from all of the excitement and wonder and newness of the day. So we're gonna go a bit early and then we have a lot more fun things to do tomorrow. <laughs> How many steps did you do? I have uh, 31,000 steps, which is a pretty good amount. We had to walk home from the, from the hike. <laughs> Butterfly Sanctuary. There are some massive butterflies. It's so cool. They gave us a little briefing when we first came in about the different stages of the development of a butterfly. And these are newborn butterflies. There's one that is just hatching. And what we were told is when they hatch, they then hang here so that their wings can dry before they fly. And I'm, I've never seen this before, but I'm so amazed by how much they just look like a dried leaf just hanging there. And some of them, are shiny, I guess made to look like water droplets. The camouflage is, is just wild. It's so cool to see. <laughs> Good chocolate and good coffee magic is a good combination. Oh yeah. I hope you like it in the last part you taste. Yeah, yeah. You can touch the problem. 50 days is free. 50 days is free. He said yeah. push like this. Mm -hmm. Every one of these have a different flavor. Taste one and taste this one, you feel this. Mmm, it's really good. Wow. We just finished up the chocolate tour and it was so much fun as a chocolate lover. <laughs> it was really cool to see sort of the whole process from the cacao pods hanging on the tree all the way to roasting and the drying and making the bars of chocolate. And then they brought out tons of chocolate for us to try all the different flavors that they make by far my favorite was the ginger because i love ginger they grow ginger root there and they showed us that as well but yeah it was just really fun to see that whole process i love chocolate so can't go wrong <laughs> our tour guide was really fun too he was just so enthusiastic and excited to show us all the stuff that they have going on in the land so uh, that always it's just fun when your tour guide is really passionate about what they're showing you. And he even like let us try some fruits that was on the farm and just, oh, macadamia nuts. That was another thing that they grow there and got to try. And they were so different than the ones that I've had from Hawaii. These macadamia nuts are possibly the best 
nut I have ever had. It is so, so good. It was like sweet and then they make the chocolate with them and that one was also one of my favorites. The ginger macadamia nuts, the coffee flavored one. They had like a smoked vanilla one. I just, I did love them all. Let's be serious, but. <laughs> so now it is almost two in the afternoon. So we have a few hours just to kind of chill. I think we're gonna walk around town, check out the shops and maybe find somewhere that we wanna go back and eat for dinner. But I think it's just gonna be a really relaxing day before we have to actually catch the bus tomorrow to Banos. 